What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, I just wanna go ahead and quickly mention again, we do have the stickers back in stock, guys. Really, really like these designs. So, uh, those uh, are available and I really would appreciate if you guys can go ahead and grab one, it really helps me out. Uh, it's a late start, man, late start. Last night I had a few drinks, had a good time, kinda of chilled out and just kinda of relaxed for like the first time in a while. So. Now, currently, I just spent 400 bucks at Harbor Freight yesterday. Pretty cool. I actually got myself one of these, um, these like roll around tool chest carts, which is very, very, it's gonna be very handy. I'm very excited about this. Um, so I'm currently in the, in the process of building that. Oh, and by the way, over here, dude, we got like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of paint and whew, just, be, just, just a lot coming, a lot of coming. Let's just go ahead and get this built and then uh, we'll just continue on with today. All right, man, there she is. Honestly, like I said, not a bad deal. Not, not honestly. So it has these like locking, these like levers you gotta pull to open out the drawers. So that way they can't open on themselves. For 200 bucks, I mean, really, you can't complain. You got a little tray, you know, we can roll it around. I got a lot of work to do, man. I just gotta go ahead and start grinding. So for you guys, remember the first time we were messing with the rust on the old skyline, we cut a lot of it out. And sorry, this is literally how I left it. Like I've been so busy the past couple days just running around doing other things. So I haven't been able to go ahead and really change anything. This is probably like deja vu from a lot of you guys. Like my pile still there, everything. So we got this done up in last video. I'm gonna go ahead and patch this little hole up here, make my drip rail or the, the rail that goes along here and then hopefully have that complete and uh, maybe patch up this hole in this video as well. So it is a later start, guys. Like I said, we, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it, not gonna waste any time. Ooh, 
talk about holy time lapse, right? Goddamn. So, uh, sorry about that, but I just wanted to knock this out. So, this is all looking really good. Drip rail, all complete. You know, you guys can see. I mean, it's all. We're gonna go ahead and body work this a little bit, but I got it all tied in, all up in here. Gonna make it look all pretty. Same in here. You know, got this going all up in there. And then we come down here. I remade all this. We look up in here. It's all kind of, it fits the same shape as it does on that side. Um, goes from like a 90 degree angle, then kind of flares out into a nice radius out here. Smooths out. So it's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss some filler on here now. Just a, just a light coat, just over where the welds are basically, just to kind of make it look, um, I, if I had like paintable, brushable seam sealer, I probably would use that as well. But we're just going to go ahead and toss a little filler and, uh, finish the side up. Okay, people, it is, uh, time has passed, man, time has passed. I have a lot to tell you guys about, man. The plan for this whole car has changed. Completely, just completely has changed. In a very good way, but a very drastic way. So, okay, well, first off, guys, so you, you've seen this, right? I think you've seen this. That's all complete. All the rust here is gone, and then this part is even better. I think I showed you guys this. If I did, great. If I didn't, okay, here we are. This is all complete, all done, good to go, ready for some primer all body worked out. I hit it with some 80 grit. Uh, and then right now, uh, I just moved on over to the passenger side. And now I'm currently working on this little spot down here. So this is definitely is uh, in need of some treatment. We definitely got a bit of rot. So that should just kind of, we'll cut all that out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get that complete. However, here's where things get interesting. So this quarter panel is, um, I, I definitely had no idea it was in the, in the current state that it's in. So as you guys know, we had that rust spot like right above the, uh, uh, the, the side skirt. And it looked, you know, semi bad. Like, it, you know, it definitely was a hole through the metal. So I'm like, all right, I figure we got a little bit of rot. No worry about it. Not worried about it. You know, it's just another day out here. But we dug in a little bit deeper and we found quite a surprise, man. So let me just show you guys really quick. <laughs> Check this out, man. Yeah. So that's our initial rust spot that I was gonna go ahead and fix. And then I was like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna keep going lower and lower. And I'm like, damn, there's like a little, there's quite a bit of filler here. So I was like, okay, let's just keep on going and going. So yeah, there's, uh, there's definitely been some serious, serious repair. Serious repair on, uh, on this quarter panel. I don't think there's anything back here. Like this is all just like metal, you know, whereas this, you guys, you guys hear the difference, right? I mean, that's just solid. That's like a quarter inch, if not more, of, of filler right there. So, yeah, so instead of fixing this and just going back to an OEM, like quarter panel, screw all that, bro. Like, I'm, I'm, we're, we're wide bodying this thing right now. So, yeah, all of a sudden, uh, we are, we are going to be doing some over fenders in the rear. So, basically, the ones that I'm going to go ahead and order, actually, like right now, they're GTR ones, basically, that are like plus 50. So I think that means that this, it'll make it like 60 to 70 millimeter wider because this is obviously a GTST. But yeah, so that's that. <laughs> we're wide bodying the rear. As far as the front fenders, since we're doing the wide and the rear, I'm actually gonna go ahead and get some, uh, some fenders for the front of the car, get that all complete. And along with that, we got a bunch of other stuff that I wanna go ahead and change up now since I'm going with the GTR like rear and the front fenders and stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the wing as well with a little with a little gurney flap the gurney flap he's not a yeah, my you, gurney flap. yeah yeah oh yeah that's the, <laughs> the old granny the granny gurney flap <laughs> my gurney flaps loose <laughs> that's what it sounded like yeah yeah you weren't about it though when i showed you the i think i think i think once you see it all together it'll look pretty good it looked a little it's super common. It's very, it's very common in the, in the R32 uh, world. What did you call it? A time appropriate? Yeah, it's like 90s spec, man. I'm trying to, I'm, there's this, there's this one like rear bumper and front bumper that I found. It's all depends on like how many stickers we can sell. And also, if you guys watched yesterday's live stream, you would have known that we actually re uh, revealed our company name. Uh, we're going to have a lot more merch coming up on the channel pretty soon. If you didn't see the live stream, it's Mally Motorworks. Yeah, it's just the start of a new beginning, man. So, uh, 
pretty pretty excited for all the merch that's to come hope you guys are stoked for that gonna get on that as soon as possible we're also live streaming tonight so after this video we're gonna try and live stream painting the engine bay on the 240 so i got it's like some be, it's gonna be tricky but i think we might be able to pull it off we gotta figure out some technical difficulty things we'll figure it out we'll figure it out the wheels so let's talk about the wheels the wheels all need to get rebuilt yeah someone deleted the rear wiper with like some some putty don't know what that's all about. The wheels are all gonna have to get rebuilt. Uh, I really wanna keep them, they are 17s, so they may look a little bit smaller on a wide body skyline, but I think once we get the lips like pumped out another couple inches, I think it'll look really aggressive. Especially the front, I mean the front right now is straight up hovercraft, you know, it's they're kind of hidden away inside the fender also, so. Uh, we're gonna get these rebuilt as well, get all new lips and refinish the centers, get them all powder coated, but I think, I mean this is a drastic, yeah, that's pretty serious. It's like a quarter, quarter inch. inch. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like a quarter inch of filler. As far as the color, I'm no longer just going to be painting the car silver again. I think I'm going to go and paint the whole car. I know you guys have been asking me to do this. Where I'm painting the whole car, I think, is the plan now. I'm thinking of like a, a, like a pearl white with like a ghost pearl in it. Like a white with a ghost pearl. I don't know. I think that's going to look really cool. There's also this like carbon fiber hood that I want to buy. This is like a carbon fiber trunk I want to buy, but man, all this all this stuff is so expensive. So we'll, we'll kind of see. We'll take it one step at a time. I mean, I'll probably just rock with what I got uh, for now. Maybe just rock this front bumper. But yeah, I figured I'd let you guys know what the, the new plan for this thing is. Hope you guys are excited. If you are, uh, give this video a thumbs up, man. It really would uh, help us out. And yeah, so this is, this is, this is, this is, this is escalating big, man. This is going to be pretty cool. Escalating um, quickly. Yeah, I did not think we we're going to do this, that, at least this quickly. This, this right here, there's no point for me to rebuild all this just to go back to stock. I mean, there's a lot of work here. We're not gonna rivet the over fenders on. I'm gonna make sure it's all molded in real nice, all body work, so it actually looks like it's supposed to be that way. If you guys wanna go ahead and support the build, definitely go ahead and check out the link in the description and go ahead and grab yourself a sticker, a bundle, a poster. Last chance on these Calvin's Garage slaps. Literally, once they're gone, they're gone forever, guys. Remember that, appreciate the love. Also, by the way, as you can see, we're missing a seat. Uh, we actually dropped that off to get reupholstered, so. Hopefully in like four weeks, hopefully hopefully less, but probably around four weeks, we'll have brand new GTR seats. So, gonna look great. I believe for this video, that's gonna be it, man. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this car out, clean up underneath in here, just clean up the shop in general, man, because we got a mess going on in here. Looking forward to the plans on this thing. It does kind of suck, yes. But again, guys, I'm, I'm an optimistic kind of person. Like, you know, I'm... Uh, it is what it is. I was gonna do it eventually, and now I guess it's just an excuse to do it right the first time, right? So. Whole car is getting stripped, painted. I mean, this is gonna this is gonna be a, a pretty gnarly a pretty gnarly process, and uh, I'm gonna be painting myself, so I'm very excited. The color I have in mind is gonna be very cool. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So, hopefully, you guys are uh, looking forward to the content coming ahead. A lot of stuff coming your way, and I uh, really hope you guys are enjoying, man. I'm putting a lot of work in these videos, and I know sometimes it's a little bit slow on some days, and not much stuff looks like it's getting done, but just like literally from about like nine in the morning to about two in the morning, I'm working and constantly doing something that's edit editing or working on cars and, and just doing stuff in the background to create content. So sometimes you guys gotta give me a break. It's just me out here grinding. You guys know this. And once all the parts come in for this thing, it's gonna be game on, man. We got a, like one of those inflatable paint booths coming from China, man. I've, I've heard really cool things about those. So temporarily until we get ourselves a proper like enclosed booth, that's gonna work just fine outside. So, I guess that's gonna be it for now. I'll see you guys hopefully in the live stream tonight. Please go ahead and grab a sticker and support the builds. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.